now. More Comics Watching Comics. This is awesome. Doing comedy for comics. This is like jerking off for yourself. Yeah, did you ever order Chinese food and it's like ching chong, ching chong? But seriously, folks, racism is terrible. <laughs> By the way, pussy. Good night. Can you dig it? <laughs> <laughs> I see the 37th Street Moon Runners. It's like Mr. T without the mohawk, I think. <laughs> or the career. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. Bon Jovi actually is hitting more demographics than I thought. <laughs> the Netflix special should be called Amber a Laugh. It'd be amazing. <laughs> So I'm kind of new to New York. I was living in L.A. for a few years. I like to call that place Los Angeles. Back to L.A. you go oh, on nice. your broom. Can you do a Hannibal impression of reviewing her, please? Sarah, wasn't it strange as you were taking the train down from Scarsdale with that last check from Mommy and Daddy, and you thought perhaps I won't give it to the UCB instructors, but maybe I'll give it to Frank Vignola and take six weeks' worth of a stand-up class. But you couldn't write the jokes, could you? You couldn't write them, but instead you decided to record yourself whining to your Wall Street boyfriend and said, well, I'm cute enough that the assistant manager might want to finger blast me afterwards. And did he finger blast you? Did he? Did Rosemary's hack like to take a shit in her bassinet? No, I don't know. I, like, I can't, like, I can't, you know. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that was better than... Uh, hey, thank you. Helen Mirren did a great job in that cancer movie. <laughs> oh my God. He looks like, he looks like Frank Perdue God. if he were a Jew. <laughs> what would Wayne Newton say about this comic? He's like, well, I love the way that he busted up the Schiffer. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that perhaps maybe he should write some punchlines and not necessarily talk about his butthole and EBT. Yeah, yeah, doobie doobie. That's, that's <laughs> bull, okay? And he listened to me. This oh is why God. you never give Elmer Fudd cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him in that in Six Flags commercial where he's like, me and Eddie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what would Bobcat Goldthwait think of this comedian? He'd be like, I, I think this guy's really, really <laughs> good, but yeah, maybe yeah, he needs well. to like turn it down. <laughs> maybe turn it off. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> 300 people with varying amounts of teeth, like, well, I've made it. I have made it. Yeah, she has like a Japanese tattoo on the back of her neck. That says strength and, and or a tattoo inspiration. And a butt crack that says anything goes. Oh. And yeah. Looks like, so she's like, she looks like a queef is keeping that skirt in flux. Yes. <laughs> hey, Sean Lynch, what would Morgan Freeman say about this comic? Morgan Freeman would say, well, if there's one thing that I've learned about him, is that he likes three things. <laughs> <laughs> Bottomless margaritas, the Mets, and big black dicks. <laughs> and God bless him on his journey. I'm sure one day he will find funny. <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> Maybe not tomorrow. But hopefully by the time Trump is assassinated, he will have figured out a way to put the smorgasbord of funny in his wake. Up in there, shake it all to the front. Mm. Hey, Sean, what do you do with your tits before your set? Uh, I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta tuck them a little. I gotta tell you, though, that whole bit that she's doing right now, I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's got, she kind of gave me an innie. I would love it if, like, it just suddenly turned. It was like, mother always gets on me for making lampshades out of runaways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a folk singing detective. Ha <laughs>